You can't want men of God and you don't raise your sons that way. This is the awakening. I am super solican. How's everybody doing out there? You cannot ask God to give you a godly man and you're not even raising your son up to be one. That's hypocrisy. Do you understand? You have to, and, and if this is, if I'm speaking to you, ask yourself now, why aren't you raising your son up to be a God-fearing man? Why aren't you raising him up in the scriptures? Why? And then you're demanding a God-fearing man from the Lord. And this can't, the blame can't be put on anyone else but yourself because you can, you as the nurturer, as the teacher, you can do that. Man or woman, like you should, it don't matter if you, if the, if you have your partner with you, you should be training your child up in the Lord, man. And that's male or female child. But that you should definitely, if you ask, if you want more men of God on the earth, why aren't you trying to prepare your son to be one? You have many whoremonger males on the earth today, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's many men who are growing up and they're not even looking at women the way that we did. Looking at them as being special, as having a reverence for them and as being a, and having a respect for them being a weaker vessel. No, men are, you see how homosexual men fighting women, women, you got men in the UFC, you know, it don't matter if they taking hormones or not. You have people questioning transgenderism, questioning what a woman is, saying that, um, that Aretha Franklin's natural woman shouldn't even be, uh, a song anymore, shouldn't be played because it's bigotry. Like the sacredness of womanhood is, is being taken away. And the reason why is because men, men are the ones who upheld that. It's only men. That sacredness, it comes from the hearts of men, from God to men. And it's because God has ordained it to be that way. Men had a built. We hear women constantly saying men aren't the same. Men aren't this, aren't that. But are you doing what the Lord told you to do with your son? It said train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs verse 22, uh, chapter 22, verse 6. And that's me personally. My grandma, I had, I was raised by my grandmother. I'm a granny's baby. And I had another praying grandmother. You know, I had, I, these were cutter ladies. You know, women who make you pray, you know, you can't, you can't blaspheme the Lord in her house. You know, you got to go to, you know, if you don't want to go to church, you know, you got to still, you know, you're going to, you're going to read the Bible. If you're not going to, you know, do that, I, I'm going to be constantly praying for you, giving you the word. You're going to, basically these women, well, they raise their children up in the, in the Proverbs and in the principles of God. And you are taught these things. You are taught the truth because God is the only one who has the truth. You know, he gives the truth to human beings on the earth. A lot of times the heart can be wicked. The heart can deceive you. A lot of times human beings don't see the full picture. We don't see the full picture of things for we react. God sees the full picture of everything. And he knows that if you want, if he want, if you want God for a man, if he need to raise, a, if he has daughters who are God fearing women who need good men, then he knows that they have to be raised up. They start as children. These men that you speak of, they start out as kids. You got some kids, man, women raising them like they man. Women are raising their sons like they husband and crap. And you know I'm telling the truth. You you know you see that all the time. You have women dressing they they little they boys up like the grown man. You have women having them involved in adult skits. You have adult women twerking, you know, in front of little boys. That's not becoming of a decent mother. You understand? I don't care what anyone says. You got to you not teaching. What are you teaching them? Are you raising him up in as a God-fearing man or are you raising him up to just be looking at the uh, worship and all the booty booty? Which one? Cuz it's a stark difference. And what I need you to understand, sisters, that 
your testimony is the biggest example of raising a God fearing man and, and raising your boy to as the way that you want him to to act and raising him to respect family and respect women and, you know, and have that reverence. It's it starts with you. He'll have that built in if he look at you and view you that way. But see, the way you you're so unstable in the way that in um, duplicitous in the way that you raise him, a lot of women be lying about the father and not being honest women. So men don't have a reverence, a same reverence for the for the their mother, or and that's the first one that they should have that for. They they see you being with different men. You not with their dad. You didn't you didn't honor God enough to even commit to that man. So why again would in turn he go out in the earth and think that somebody else is gonna do better? He doesn't feel that way because it's not what he saw. You didn't give you didn't raise him up as a God fearing man. You didn't give him that testimony. You weren't a God fearing woman. Do you understand the cycle you in? And then you can only it's only up to you to break that generational curse. You know, you get what you and a lot of women are reaping what you sow. You get the type of men that you, you know, produced. The type of man that you produced, you dealt with the offspring you produced with. His dad wasn't a man of God. You know, the dad that you got with, you know. So, again, if, for your, if you having daughters, who are they going to get with? But the sons being raised by your peers. You, you know, uh, again, you and, and the woman's, you know, the, um, the mother, you probably, if you have a relationship with the mother, y'all friends, you know that she not raising him up in, in God. You're not teaching her. You're not telling her, you know, correcting her. You're not doing that. So what do you expect? You get what you want on the earth. You know, what did you think? Like the earth going to look different, going to look starkly different five years from now. The earth going to look like another place 10 years from now. This is how quickly the Lord is doing things. He's This is because we getting closer and closer to the end times. These are the Bible is clearly telling you that, you know, the things that's happening right now are the things that are supposed to happen in the end, the end of time. But you never saw it because you've never heard women saying something like that. Men have always had a reverence for women because they understood that they were different. Now you're meshing the, the people are are trying to do that. This is what they they trying to cause transhumanism, mesh the genders, you know, confuse, cause mass confusion on the earth. And again, women have certain traits that disarm men. But if they give those up and forfeit that, now you just got heightened aggression everywhere. You know, men with a heightened aggression, zero to 60 on a woman. That's why you see dude, no matter what the woman look like, you see men taking off on her, you know, hitting her, you know, harming them. And that's not right. But the reverence is gone. You know, when it's sheer equality and women are equal to men by no means, you know, we're, we're equally different. You know, we're equal, but different. We're equal as far as humans and, and in the eyes of the Lord, you know, we are human beings and have all have a soul and an individual soul. And the Lord loves everyone equally. Now, at the same time, God has everyone has a purpose for everyone. And if you're not in your purpose, your born purpose, like as a woman, then you're failing, you know, you failing God. You fit, and it's not saying that every woman have to have children. That's not what I. That's not the only thing that makes you a woman. You understand? It's your. It's your. God created you to just. You are what you are, and it's best. It's healthy to embrace that. I'm a man. You understand? I'm black. It's best for me to embrace that. That's my reality. I live in. So in terms to saying, you know, if you are a woman, you wanna. In you trying to, and we get a lot of this, like women want to be me and get sex changes, uh, like I said, but you don't have women opting really just running around uh, to take out garbage or uh, women really just running to play football or, you know, in the, they not, you don't have women joining the NFL saying, I'm look, I didn't have a transition and I want to get in the NFL. They would get murdered. That would be, that would be horror. It's just certain things that God has ordained 
for men to be better at or men to be more acclimated to and then certain things for women to be more acclimated to. These two come together. Women are more soft and they need to embrace that. Today, women want to embrace being tough. You know, in the book of Titus, chapter two, verse five, it says to be self. Women are to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind and submissive to their own husbands. So that the word of God may not be reviled. In the book of Titus, chapter two, verse three, it says older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. In the book of Timothy, first Timothy, chapter three, verse 11 says their wives must be dignified not slanderers, but sober minded and faithful in all things. And now that was speaking of the um, wives of um, the pastor, the, the heads of the church. Now, women, all women are going to be held to the um, uh, same standard of, you know, the, the church pastor, but the church pastor's wife. But still, I just gave you I, it's, I can continue on and on about verses of how godly women operate. You can't ask something from you hear women saying, oh, I prayed to God for a good man. I prayed to this for a good man. You praying to God for a good man. But are you a good woman? Are you a God fearing woman? Like, are you faithful in the Lord? Do you, are you or are you on Instagram showing butt and bending over? Do you think as a you're a daughter of God, you're a daughter of Christ. Christ said he married the church like he like a man marries um his wife. You know, Christ is betrothed to the church. So you are a wife of Christ, a daughter of Christ, a sister of Christ, a mother of Christ. You all of that. And you do you think you are being you you becoming of that when you on Instagram? If you look, just look at the lifestyle you live in and you asking for a godly man. Like, can, are you being like you got to stop with this dual mindset you understand this is why like women need to to really listen and um, and and be taught in the book of first timothy chapter 2 verse 11 it says let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness right now i'm teaching i don't need a bunch of comments you know of foolishness because i know what i'm saying is right you understand this is thus saith the lord i don't need a bunch of this is a new it's only new that you have women saying that men aren't traditional anymore. Traditional meaning what they used to be, what they've been throughout the years. This is so this is new. And I'm telling you why. <laughs> Listen, you understand women like women have abandoned their powers. They superpowers, the superpowers they've abandoned. And it's the same. Look. Because it's a, you know, Eve did the same thing. Like we're not, I'm not demonizing women. I love women to death. They're human beings. I love men and women, you know, um, as children of God. That's it. It's, it's nothing. I'm just telling you the truth. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't get mad at me. God is already told. Eve was the first one who, when they had, they had paradise. They was in paradise, but she had, she was with Adam. Satan told her she could gain power. You know, that she could gain the hidden knowledge, forbidden knowledge, power and, you know, and have a better position if she was to go against God. She did it. She went against not only her husband, she went against her husband wishes who clearly told her what God said, but she went against God himself. And again, if you get a woman who's not going to listen to God, man, she'll never listen to you. And I don't see why you would expect any different. But for the women it's up to you. You got to be faithful to God, man. You know, that's your, you know, you got to return to the most high. You can't be selling out and you, you abandon your superpowers. You have a duty when you get married. You ain't, ain't no divorcing, you know, not for just trivial stuff. Talking about you unhappy. You are acting like, see, a lot of women today are only acting like everything is all about you. While the whole world don't operate like that. Human beings are collective organisms. You can't, it's not all about you. You understand? Everything all about your happiness all the time. Everybody, you don't be happy all the time. Like, not in that traditional sense, but you can have a lasting joy of purpose and, you know, being a part of something bigger. 
You just want to drop out at the back at the drop of a hat. You can't take the fire. You a person who runs from everything. Start doing self-assessment. But the main thing is, is you have to uh, you have to be what you want. You understand? Like for the most part, as in certain aspects of character, like women, men don't want women for money. You understand? They don't care about that. So yeah, that's not necessarily the case. If you want to, you know, you can get a man who can and you can get a man who may not be in a financial position one day, but y'all together and he y'all locked in. So when he come up, you know what? Three years down the line and, you know, now he making six figures. You are part of that now. Now you benefit. So it's not. That's why I said women today want to. Run up on a dude and ask him his dollar. What you, what you got in your bank account? What you got? Like, whoa, man, get away from me. You know, that's how men feeling like you value. You not, you're not valuing the men as being a human being. You looking at you objectifying them at this point. The same way that, you know, men, you say that you don't want men to objectify women. Y'all both locked in a vicious cycle of tit for tat. You understand? Some you are the submissive vessel. I just read to you, it said wives should submit to their own husbands, not get him lip, not be trying to run around, cheat on them and put them on blast. And, you know, all over the Internet, putting their business out in the street, trying to invite other men and, and women into your bed. No, you should be submissive to your husband. OK, that's it. And you need to be raising at home, raising godly children, raising the men that you want on the earth. You need to be producing that. You got a daughter. You need to be training her to be up a training her to be a godly woman. What you think these sons? Who these sons gonna come to marry? You know, you want you a godly man. Well, God already raised some up, but you you know you squand you didn't want him back in the day. So okay, you want to you know you want you a godly man. Well, are you a godly woman? Are you even training your child up in that way? If you're not faithful to God in no way, God ain't or don't owe you nothing. You know what I mean? And that's just the truth. That is just the truth. But I just want to go ahead and really touch on that bit of hypocrisy. We have to stop that. You know, John chapter 3, 16, we already know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son in the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. What are you raising your son up to be? What do you think he going, what do you envision him to be when he grow up? You got many, you know, men growing up, they, they getting killed by the cops. You know, they in jail. They grow up to be, you know, they, they grow up to be heathenistic males. Baby mama here, baby mama here. They grow up to be racist. Some people training their child up to be racist. You know what I mean? Some, some people is, is, is raising they, they daughters and, up to be uh to be prostituted in for the industry for for Hollywood. Some people raising their sons up to the same way. Some people raising their sons up to be effeminate. What are did? What are you? What is your son gonna do? What is he gonna bring to the world? You know, I just told you what Jesus Christ brought. We need to model. You should try. To teach that, teach Christ to your son and raise him to be in the image of Christ. That's it. So not only can he have eternal life, but he can bring something good into the world, healing and not a bunch of chaos and turmoil. Some sons in, are really sons of perdition, man. They didn't they didn't cause they didn't harm people. You've raised sons who didn't who the mass shooter, that mass shooter who crept up in that that grocery store, shot all them people, man, of color. Man, you know, that was somebody's son. So with that being said, man, this is the awakening. Peace and blessings to the hearers and doers of the Lord's word. I am Super Soligan, the messenger. I'm gone.